Professor, have you heard? They say we've finally located the enemy. It seems they're hiding in the sealed forest, right near the monastery. Lady Rhea has summoned all of the knights to return and take them down. And all of this is being done in secret. Why? To keep us... No. To keep you in the dark. Lady Rhea likely assumed you wouldn't be able to stop yourself from confronting the enemy if you knew their location. But that is not how the story ends, is it? Professor, we're at the ready. Order us to depart, and we'll fight at your side. No, I will not allow it. This discovery comes just when the knights are at their busiest. It is all too likely that our foes revealed themselves to lure you out there. They are the ones who took Geralt from you. I know how you must despise them, but I must ask you to rein in your personal feelings for now. Please, Professor, do not act carelessly. I ask that you leave this to us. Losing you so soon after losing Geralt would be unbearable. Lady Rhea, Seteth, please try to understand our reasoning before you refuse. With most of the knights still far away, we cannot afford for you two to leave the monastery undefended. The enemy's strength is yet unknown. The only warriors who likely stand a chance are those who wield relics. With all that in mind, it's obvious who should be dispatched, is it not? If the Professor leaves, we will go as well. We've already made preparations and are ready to depart at a moment's notice. Surely you must see that we cannot wait any longer for the knights to gather. Please, do what must be done and give us the order. Professor, do you agree with this strategy? Understood. I will give you the order. Destroy the enemy that is hiding in the sealed forest. You have the protection of the Goddess on your side. Whatever happens, you shall overcome. No matter what enemy we face, we will not fail. I promise you that. The sealed forest is up ahead. Stay alert. This is for Captain Gerald. I will not falter. It is time to repay the kindness of the professor who saved my life. Leave it to us, professor. I'll give it my all. Fighting Tomas? It will be difficult, that's for certain. I don't really love the idea of fighting people I know. We don't have a choice. Even if it's difficult, an enemy is an enemy. We've just got to get it over with. Just kill them from behind. As long as you don't see their faces, you won't know if you know them. We won't know unless we see their face. Yes, I suppose that is true. Professor, I hope you know I meant what I told you before. Your enemy is my enemy. And I will follow you until the end. Whatever that end may be. Yes, right. We'll fulfill our duty together. We've come this far. We can't stop now. I hope you know that you can rely on us. No matter who the enemy is, we are prepared to cut them down. Yes. No matter who they may be. Thank you. I am grateful. Thanks. You have my gratitude.
Demonic beasts! The enemy was always intending to lure us here. Hello, you're here! Welcome to the Forest of Death! <laughs> My name is Kranya. This weakling girl was just a borrowed look for me. <laughs> this is what I really look like. Now, you vermin, I'll take down every last one of you. Here we go. Ready. I'll go. Here goes. I'll give it my all. If this takes too long, I might be forced to escape. Oh, or do you simply intend to let me go? How accommodating of you. As for me, I intend to kill you all. <laughs> You're gonna do it, you go! Yes. Yes. Thanks. What should I do? Give up. Sure thing. I've got a mace up my sleeve. Cut through. Stay focused.
I must stay focused. I'm getting stronger. I can feel it. It's all coming together. Oh, that coming. Right where I go. Over already. Each battle, a chance to grow. Yeah! Too slow! Over already? I will get stronger still. Reassuring. Is that all? Out of my way. You're a fool to be so brazen. You'll never avenge your father at this rate. <laughs> I'll have to kill you too with my own hands. <laughs> oh, how cute! You're trying so hard! But now, it's time to die! Thank you. 
This is what a real man looks like. Forbidden spell of Zaharas upon our enemies. Please help me. What was that sorcery? What happened to our professor? They were swallowed by the mystical darkness of the forbidden spell. An eternity wandering in a void of nothingness, never to return to this world. To think, we almost had the sword of the creator. That's a lie! There's no way the professor is really dead! That's right. Our professor is no ordinary human. I do not believe our professor has fallen. It is possible that death has yet to find your friend, but there are worse things than death. Drifting through the darkness with no chance of escape, overwhelmed with hopelessness. <laughs> it must be torturous. We cannot abandon hope, your highness. Our professor lives. I know it. You're right. We will save the professor. But first, let's destroy this beam. I'll slice you into a thousand pieces as you watch with horror. You will know true pain before I finally allow you to die. How trite. But if you wish for pain, I shall oblige. If you prefer it so, you shall also be added to the ranks of the dead. Charging right into an enemy's trap. Are you just a boulder that rolls down whatever hill it's on? No, even a boulder has more sense. Excuses won't help us. This darkness is terrifying. As you and I are one, I too am trapped within this void. But please consider this. This realm of darkness we are in is separate from the world from which you came. I mean that it would take a god to leave this place. In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. Are you prepared to die? How very brave of you to joke at times like these. <sighs> there is no other choice. 
Do you recall your father's diary? He said you were a child who never cried nor laughed. I think I am the one to blame. I must have been asleep, but even then, I feel I was a part of you. I do not know how Rhea managed it, but she allowed me to exist inside of you. The truth is, I have always been with you. It is within you that I found my power yet again. The power of a goddess. The power of the progenitor god. My name is Sothis. By now, you must be well aware of what that means. I am the one who watches over Fodlin and the creatures dwelling there. I am Sothis. She who died and then returned. There is but one thing left to do to save us from this darkness of eternity. I must now use the power of a god. However, I lack a body of my own. And so I must relinquish all the power that I have to you. The time has come for you and I to join as one. And when that comes to pass, then I shall disappear. When I say disappear, I do not mean that all I am will be no more. My soul will join with yours, and you and I will never be apart. But I will no longer have the chance to speak with you. I shall miss it. So long have I been on this path with you. Through you, I got to see and hear this world. I even got to chastise you from time to time. I may not have acted like a goddess, but it was certainly fun. For all that you have done, thank you. I'm glad that it was you to whom my fate was bound. Now, we must pray. For if we share this wish, our spirits too will join as one. Your wish is to return to the forest, stop the enemy, and rescue the little ones. <laughs> no need for words. I know your heart as though it were my own. Your will and mine are now as one. Both sides of time are revealed to you, and you alone. You know I am the beginning. What shall you do? Professor, that is you, isn't it? I'm glad you are safe. I was sure that you would return. Please tell me all that happened to you later. For now, it's imperative that we kill the demon. What did you see in the darkness of Zaharas? This should be impossible. The only being that can withstand that darkness is... Unless I dispose of you myself, I may never have the chance to send you back there.
As expected. to serve his height. I prevailed. Hey, good job. Ready?
One, naturally. I am terrified by you. Even though an emotion like fear has no place inside me, that means you must be eliminated. Predictable. Let the lesson begin. To think that I would lose to mere beasts. But this is not the end. Tullus will carry out our mission... somehow. Tullus? Does he also serve the Flame Emperor? It can't be! Professor, I'm glad you're okay. And you seem relatively unscathed. I'm... I'm so relieved. What's more, Gerald's foe is dead. Though we took little satisfaction from it. Professor, I must ask. What happened after we were separated? You look... different. The goddess appeared and gave you her power? It's as though the legend of old has been made flesh. It's hard to grasp, in all honesty. But having seen you pierce the sky with my own eyes, I find myself unable to doubt it. Yes, the legend of Saint Seros. It is said that she received a divine revelation from the goddess and was gifted with her power. Long ago, the goddess dispatched Seros to defeat an evil king who went mad with power. Perhaps the goddess saw the goodness of Seros within you too, and wished to help you in your quest to defeat evil. <laughs> if you're Seros, granted power by the goddess, then I suppose that makes me... Ah, never mind. I'm getting carried away. Professor, what's wrong? Are you... Uh, are you asleep? What is happening these days? Well, it matters not. We must get you help, and fast. It'll be faster if I carry you and run. In times flow, see the glow of flames ever burning bright on the swift rivers drift broken memories alight 
Professor, you must remain still. Everything is all right. There is no need to worry. Those who are trying to harm you are far away. How lovely it would be for this moment to last forever. I wish I could hold on to this time we have stolen. That you and I could create a world without end. I have heard whispers of what happened to you. Your appearance. You have received power from the goddess. From the moment you took hold of the sword of the creator, I prayed that one day the radiant power of Sothis, which bathes Fodlin in its celestial light, might reside within you. But you are so much more than the light. You are my... <sighs> Close your eyes, dear one. Sleep just a while longer. I will be watching over you, always, always and forever.